but on Wednesday they dropped two points when they met Manchester City at Highbury. For Arsenal, the chance to recover from their FA Cup hangover and go eight points clear in the championship race. Normal service resumed in the early stages. Kevin Campbell's ninth strike in 13 games. When Arsenal scored again, only the margin of victory seemed to be in question. Perry Groves enjoying his right-wing freedom, Alan Smith unselfishly turning provider, and Paul Merson's shot good enough to beat Tony Coton. 2-0 to Arsenal, and only 14 minutes gone. But then it all went wrong for George Graham's team, Steve Bold giving away a dubious penalty five minutes before half-time, after allegedly bringing down Arsenal old boy Niall Quinn. Referee Ian Borrett seemed to have no doubts, and Mark Ward duly converted the spot kick to give his side a glimmer of hope. The Arsenal net bulging for only the 15th time in the league this season. That soon became 16, with the North Bank stunned into silence by City's equaliser. Ward's through ball, and a miserable week for Tony Adams, continuing with winger David White beating the offside trap, and David Seaman to send the teams in level at 2 all. City's comeback was hard to believe, the Arsenal fans hope for better things to come and indeed 1989 Championship hero Michael Thomas could have won it for Arsenal in the second half. His brilliant run deserved a goal, in the end the width of the crossbar enough to keep Liverpool in the Championship race. George Graham left to reflect on that dubious penalty which proved the big turning point. Well, one has to ask themselves, could there be a twitching of the old arse? <laughs>